Sesame Street, Fairly Furry Fairy Tales, The Three Little Grouches. If you're reading along in your book, at times you will see a picture instead of a word. Say it when you see it in the story, or just listen along while the story is read to you. But first, let's read those picture words together right now. Are you ready? Trash can, fish, boot, socks, garbage truck, one, banana, two, cheese, three. The three little grouches. How many grouches are in this story? Asks the count. Let's count together. One, two, three. Oh, how exciting! Yes, there are three little grouches. Ah, ah, ah! Once upon a time, there were three little grouches. The first, Oscar the Grouch, was the grouchiest of all. Oscar covered his trash can with yucky fish. Then he added one rotten banana. <laughs> What a wonderful grouchy smell! He said. The second little grouch was named Zoe the Grouch. She covered her trash can with holy old socks. Then she added two rotten bananas. <laughs> yeah. What a wonderful grouchy smell," she said. The third little grouch was named Elmo the Grouch. He covered his trash can with pieces of stinky cheese. Then he added three rotten bananas. <laughs> <laughs> What a wonderful grouchy smell," he said. It got so smelly on Sesame Street that even passing superheroes noticed. I smell something rotten," said Super Grover, looking down at the three grouches and their bananas. "That is one super stinky mess." "Yeah, well, who asked you?" said Oscar from his trash can. Those three grouches were grouchy. The only time they smiled was when the garbage truck came by. Then one sloppy day, they were playing a game of kick the revolting old boot. When along came one big bad snuffleupagus. Well, okay, maybe he wasn't bad, but he sure was big. The snuffleupagus came to the trash can of the first little grouch. He spotted one rotten banana and lots of yucky fish. Snuffleupagus huffed and puffed and huffed and puffed, and he blew the rotten banana and the yucky fish all the way to the garbage truck. Then Snuffleupagus came to the trash can of the second little grouch. He spotted two rotten bananas and lots of holy old socks. Snuffleupagus huffed and puffed and huffed and puffed, and he blew those rotten bananas and holy old socks all the way to the garbage truck. The snuffleupagus came to the trash can of the third little grouch. He spotted three rotten bananas and lots of stinky cheese. Snuffleupagus huffed and puffed and huffed and puffed, and he blew those rotten bananas and the stinky cheese. All the way to the garbage truck. Oscar the Grouch shouted after the garbage truck, "Hey, come 
back here with that trash, he yelled. But Zoe the Grouch liked her new trash can. So did Elmo the Grouch. The clean cans made them feel, well, happy. I'm sorry if you miss your bananas and socks, Snuffleupagus said in his slow Snuffleupagus way. But doesn't Sesame Street look nice now? It is nice without the socks, agreed Zoe. And clean, added Elmo. Thank you, Snuffleupagus, said the two little grouches together. Thank you, Oscar grumbled from his trash can. I can't believe my two grouchy ears. What kind of grouches are you anyway? Get lost and have a rotten day. Come on, said Zoe. Let's go get some bananas that aren't rotten. Elmo loves you, Elmo told Oscar as they ran off. Now that's just yucky, moaned Oscar. And that is the end of the story, says the Count. Two little grouches went away, one little grouch was left, and he lived grouchily ever after. Thank you.